Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can create custom light leaks in Adobe Photoshop. I just made a video on how you can do this for videos in After Effects. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll be in the description. Uh, I have a photo and we're going to apply some light leaks. I also released a pack that you can download on my website with a bunch of them. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, um, just check the link in the description. With that being said, let's just get straight into the video. So right here we have the light leaks pack. So we're gonna create very similar ones to these. Um, there's two different ones that you can create. One that's just a single color and one that's multicolor, obviously. So I'm just gonna delete this folder right here. Uh, so the first thing you wanna do is obviously open up your picture. The next thing you wanna do is make a new layer. Um, and now go to layer, new fill layer and gradient. So basically a light leak is a gradient. It's a gradient with a transparent side to it. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Um, so for the mode right here, you just wanna select screen and press okay. And so basically we're gonna select um, the second preset right here. The reason we're gonna do this is because light leaks typically fade off. Um, they're usually like in the corner or something like that or on the side, they don't take up the whole picture. So that's why we want a transparent side to it. So the checkered background actually represents a transparent background. Uh, so right here, we're just gonna select one color. So. There you go, there's red. So that's how you create one color. Um, it's pretty simple. And I'm just gonna show you some things you can do as well. You can change the angle. So depending on where you want it in the picture, typically like the corner looks the best like this. And the scale basically makes it fade a little more. There you go. So the more you move left, the stronger it is. And the more you increase it, it gets more faded. So usually a hundred is the best. And so there we have it. And another tip I have is if you add white to the front, so you just click um, at the front right here, it'll create a new point. Um, if you add white, it typically looks a little bit better, especially if there's multicolors. So you actually wanna just move the red down here a little bit so that there's like a fade in between the two colors and it isn't so strict. So something like this. So, so I think like something like this looks really, really good. Um, and basically to add another color, you just want to click on an empty spot and you just want to add another color. So let's do like blue or something. Let's do blue and purple. Um, so let's just make this one purple. So you can see what that white does. It makes it look a little bit more authentic in my opinion. And you can even add black if you don't want it to fade too much. So you see what making it black does. So if you want like the middle not to have any light leak, that's how you could do it. So that's a very, very simple tutorial. Um, there's other modes as well, but I don't think they're as good. Like some of them are really weird. I think the only one that looks kind of good is reflected. Um, like something like this. Diamond looks kind of weird as well, um, but you can obviously mess with it. You don't have to choose any singular one, but I, I would choose linear. And if you don't want to keep cycling through colors, what you could do is you can use the hue and saturation adjustment and apply it to the gradient fill. And then you can just cycle through the colors right here. You can even just colorize it if you want a singular color. And yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.